Uh, we had a long discussion this morning about the ease with which these measures are passing at the state level. I mean, New Jersey, it, it feels like it's been like trying to push a rock up a hill. Uh, is it your sense that we're now at the top of that hill? Absolutely. Uh, and we think there's about a $2 billion opportunity for New Jersey for adult use sales by uh, 2025. Um, you're right. Um, the state legislature um, has had some challenges getting it over the finish line. They kicked it to the voters and the voters said yes. Um, so now the mandate is for the state legislature to get it done. We're uh, modeling for commercial access of adult use cannabis July 1st of 2021, which would be the same timeline we saw from Nevada. So are we looking at now volume growth among existing players, or is this becoming an M&A story? Oh, that's interesting. Um, you know, there was a big rash of M&A um, 24, 18 months ago. Um, the DOJ reviews were um, really challenging. And I think right now it's much more about organic growth. You know, for a market like New Jersey, the key players, the GTIs, Green Thumb, our top pick, um, Cure Leaf, where we're outperform rated, um, they've already got, you know, one medical dispensary and they have options for two more satellites. So I think they build off of the capacity they already have in the market. Vivian, the election seems like good news for cannabis, as you've been talking about, but there still doesn't seem like a concrete path towards federal legalization, never mind decriminalization. So I wonder, could this create a patchwork of regulations for companies to operate in, and does that ultimately hinder growth? So from a federal legislative perspective, um, you know, we were um, hoping that the Senate uh, would flip. Obviously, that's still um, TBD. But um, what we were calling for was decriminalization consistent with the commentary from um, the Biden and Harris campaign. Um, uh, VP candidate Harris um, certainly called that out uh, during her debate with um, Vice President Mike Pence. Um, we think that there's about $10 billion in upside just from states moving the needle. And the good news is, you know, as you get incremental states like Montana was a surprise to us for adult use um, on the election night, South Dakota for adult use was a surprise to us. Now you have four Republican senators that are representing adult use states. So it helps. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.